In this video, we will talk about our top five tips and tricks, what we learned so far in Japan and we want to share with you. Yeah, we're already here for a week now. And yeah, our plan for today is first to go to a waterfall. And on the way there, we'll just share uh, five things with you we think are really important to know before coming to Japan. So, so we just got some breakfast for us, rice and bars and sushi roll and coffee. The first tip for everyone who's coming to Japan, Osaka, because it's especially in Osaka, it's like that. Everywhere else you can get a nap, it's called Tsuka app. But in Osaka, you can get like a card, looks like this. Boom, boom, and you can just get it from a um, ticket machine. You, when you buy your ticket, you can just buy the card and you deposit like 500 yen for the card and then you can charge it and just use it to use the public transportation because when you move around Japan or Osaka, you always will move public transportation. It's so good here. We just charged our uh, Icoca cards and you saw we paid with cash and that's how we come to tip number two always have cash with you like always you have cash on you because you have to pay usually everywhere with cash sometimes you can pay with card but it's just always good to have cash like Japan is more a cash culture than card Awesome, so we've arrived and it was actually pretty easy to get here and really not that expensive. I think we only paid a couple euros or a couple of dollars to get all the way here. We arrived at a bridge, temple thing, and we still have a little bit to walk up, but we wanted to talk about you about tip three. The most important, when you travel, you always need some kind of service, internet. And in Japan, it's better actually to not get a SIM card it's better to get one of those. It's like a portable Wi-Fi and you have it like everywhere, you know, you have just Wi-Fi to go and you just have to charge those things and they're like so tiny, they're tinier than a phone. And then you have Wi-Fi everywhere and we're now outside, really far from the city and Taylor is showing you if a video is still loading. And right now we're playing the video and it's working. Like you can even watch a YouTube video outside in the forest with this Wi-Fi. So guys, you see we arrived at some kind of junction and everything is in Japanese. We don't know Japanese and that's where tip number four is coming. Always have a translator app with you where you can just like take a picture with it and you can just scan. And then up there is some kind of tower. What is that? Statue of Hideo Noroi in this direction. And this one is park management office. I think like tower of the or the state here. I, I don't know. Like we're looking for a waterfall. Should we just go up? This is the first sign for the waterfall. Well, there were like so many signs and they were all in Japanese. And this was the first sign for the waterfall. We arrived at the first sign which says waterfall. Yeah, exactly. This one is saying waterfall. This one is not saying waterfall, but this one is saying waterfall. <laughs> waterfalls right behind us and it's a really pretty walk all the way up here and it's really nice a really nice break from the city so the waterfall was, was really, really nice. nice yeah <laughs> it wasn't really nice taylor yeah. 
Yeah, so we're on the way back to the Mino station, um, the closest station to the waterfall, and we will go to the city now and get some warm clothes, maybe a hoodie, a sweatshirt. Because we're going to Universal Studios this weekend, and we need to go get some more yarn for me because I'm crocheting a scarf and I ran out of yarn. We arrived at a sushi restaurant and our friend Yuki told us that the sushi here is really cheap and yeah we just came and you can just order the sushi on a tablet and then it comes on the on these. it's really fun yeah we will eat some sushi first and then we will go to Uniqlo and their uh, tip 5 is coming and we will tell you guys what's tip 5 for Osaka or Japan Okay, we arrived at the mall because Taylor is getting yarn for herself and I want to talk about tip 5. Tip 5 is always bring your passport because with your passport you can get tax free stuff so when you go to a store or something you don't have to pay taxes when you show your passport. They just want to check that you're a foreigner and then you just don't have to pay taxes on what you buy. So just bring your ta passport always with you, have it in your bag, and when you need to buy something, just check, for example, at Uniqlo, but we found other places too. You just don't have to pay the taxes, and then you just save like a couple dollars, euros. So that's another trick for you. All right, so we just arrived back at our little place, and oh. yeah, Taylor got her yarn, roll back. <laughs> if you enjoyed the five tips from today, Leave a like, leave a comment, tell Show us what you love. think, and maybe you have more tips and you yeah. can just write it down and we will pin it. And the most important, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Peace.